Hey everyone, Justin Russell here with Josh Jones. And we're going big ass crappie fishing on a lake in Kansas and you don't know where it is. It's muddy. Um, see, this is normal for us back home. I'm gonna look at this and say this is really decent water clarity conditions. This? Yeah. Like this is Eldo right now, we're good. Big crappie. Yeah, so we're gonna see what we get using Lowrance Active Target today. Josh is letting me use a prototype Dobbins rod. Am I supposed yeah. to say that? You can. Okay, 14 footer. Never used a rod this long before. We're gonna see what the hell happens. I'm gonna be using a 12 and we're gonna catch some giant crappie today with the Lowrance Active Target. Stay Let's tuned. go. Eight inches. Really? That's it, huh? Left a little bit. See, I thought I was gonna have to go to the right. Down, right there. Up just ahead. Right, backwards, backwards. Right there. Right a little bit. Right, right there. There it goes. No. That's it. Got him. And you're right. That's a eight inch. Eight incher. <laughs> yeah. It's 14 foot rod, man. <laughs> so the most important thing about what we're doing is boat control. And part of boat control is keeping your foot on this foot pedal of the trolling motor 100% of the time. You never want to take your foot off the motor. When I see a fish, I stop the boat, get the boat completely stopped. A lot of times I'll look in the water, see a little bubble or just something floating in the water, and that's how I know the boat is completely stopped. Once the boat gets stopped, then you gotta line up on your target. And the number one goal is keep that fish in your sights, on the screen, 100% of the time. Once you have that fish on that screen, the boat's obviously gonna move left to right. You have to constantly move your trolling motor left to right to left to right, just constantly to keep that target glowing on the screen. I hear all the time, people are on the boat. I, they say, I can't see my bait. I, we really don't care where your bait is. We care where the fish is, not to find your bait. Who cares the bait, about the bait? We care about the fish. And it's, it's just a lot going on especially when the wind's blowing. We're moving this way. We might see a fish out here. We have to stop the boat. The back end of the boat's gonna right swing there. back. Nope. Gar. Maybe, a little. Might be a little one. All right, so it is. So I'm gonna stop the boat. and look at something in the water. Boat stop, then I'm gonna line my trolling motor up with the fish. And the fish don't always sit still, sometimes they're moving. So this is a small one, so there he is. And I'm gonna constantly scan left to right, left to right, left to right to keep that fish lit up. There he is, he spooked off, but I followed him. So he's lit up. And then I maneuver my bait on the fish, like so, and then catch them. It's really simple, but you cannot do this if your foot is not on that trolling motor pedal all day long. All right, so all we're doing out here, we're covering a lot of water. There's a bunch of trees, but we're out in the open part of the lake. And we got the trolling motor cranked up, and we're covering water. And we just came across what looks to be a good fish just out here in the open water. Um, we got it scanned out far enough to where once we see a big fish, we have time to stop. So I saw that fish, it's about 30 foot in front of the boat, and now I stopped, and now I just dropped a bait right on his face. But let's see if I can catch it. Looks like a pretty good fish too. 
That's why I really like this Lawrence Active Target because you can see the clarity and you can see these fish so far out. Not a huge one, but that's a keeper anywhere in the country. It's a 12 plus inch fish. That's a good one anywhere in the country. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, that right there makes at least two tacos. And something else on this boat, we have no pliers. So I'm gonna let him take the next one off so I can see how long it takes. And we're off, covering water. Kind of just leaving the distance at 30, 30 foot out, covering water. Scanning back left and right, left and right. And as soon as we see a fish, stop the boat. Boat control and boat positioning is the most important part of crappie fishing. If you don't have good boat control, you're kind of peeing into the wind. And it's not that easy. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just say that much. Like, it is not that simple. That wasn't a fish. Where'd it go? That was a buff. See it? Yep. Yeah. So where are you looking at here? I didn't see nobody. Well, there was one there. The wind has definitely picked up a little bit this afternoon. And I feel like right before we got off the water, it wasn't terrible, and now it is. See one, immediately stop the boat. And there he is, a good one, right here. Now you're never gonna wanna bring your bait below him. The goal is to position the boat and to leave your bait above the fish. Because if that bait falls below the fish, you're going to spook it, potentially. Forward. Left. Right there. Left a little bit more. A little bit more. Right there. Here he comes. Down. Yep. Left. Left. I'll get him. Oh, he looked up at you. Why do you do that? You weren't wiggling your worm right. For the record, he told me not to shake my worm earlier. <laughs> Oh, that's a good one. I know, I say they're all good, but still. They are good, all of them. But we're after the, the two pound plus quality fish. These are all really, really good fish. They're just healthy. They're thick, they're feeding up for winter. From now, what is it, the second week of September to March, you're gonna have an opportunity at catching three plus pound crappie. That's when they're the fattest. There he is. All right, obviously the most important part of crappie fishing is boat control. And one of the questions I get most is, how do you know left or right? You know, because on the screen, if you're looking to the right, people want to move their pole to the right, when in reality, it's forward and back. So when I roll up on a fish, just like this, I keep it in my sights. My foot never leaves this foot pedal. And I keep that fish lit up. People's main issue is I can't see my bait I can't see my bait well you really don't need to see your bait you really want to see the fish and then put your bait on top of the fish just like I'm doing right now I keep that fish lit up and then I put my bait right on top of the fish and most of the time it doesn't take longer than five or ten seconds and that's a big one let me come back and catch that one so there it is I missed it I keep it lit up and the back of the boat's swaying back and forth, so the boat's always gonna be moving. So you have to keep your foot on that pedal at all times. Here he comes. Whoosh. Hold on. I missed him again. Gonna follow him again. There he is. See how I always kept my foot on that, that pedal? So I can always track down the fish. 
Plus the boat's moving, the wind's blowing. Third time's the charm. And it's not a bad fish, really. It's not a big fish. Yes. All right, this one's right under the surface. As they do sometimes, I'm trying to find it. There, there it is. is. It's not far, it's about three feet under the surface. We're in shallow water. Certain times of day, these fish suspend and that's what they're doing right now. So we're only in five or six foot of water and they're just suspended out here, just hanging out. Here he comes. <laughs> that don't count. <laughs> And also, here's something to, to note. The higher up in the water column these fish are, the bigger they look. So I thought this was gonna be definitely a big fish. In reality, it's not. Now he sounds like me. <laughs> yeah, I, I would have bet money it was a pound. All right, guys, we're out here on a beautiful Kansas day in September, really a decent day. Wind's been up and off for us, but Caught a lot of crappie fish today, so mm -hmm. that was a lot of fun. So I want to thank Josh for meeting up with us to come out here. I learned a ton. I'm not traditionally a crappie fisherman where you kind of early on cut your teeth crappie fishing and stuff. So This was your first time, wasn't it? It, it was. To truly go out and really target crappie fishing using forward-facing sonar, Lowrance Active Target, 100%, absolutely. So it's really made it more fun for me to target crappie now after seeing that, like, Several of them, I think I was giggling like a little schoolgirl. <laughs> but uh, it was a really good day. Got a lot of fish. We had to wear sunscreen. It was a little hot, but it is a little hot. I will agree with that. So, again, guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope you guys learned how we're using Active Target to help put more crappie in the boat. Try it next time you're out on the water. As always, guys, we'll see you next time.